Hello there, my name is Joe and welcome to another edition of Joe's Technology. This is another short one. Today I'm looking at the installation of the Pale Moon browser. If you've never heard of it, Pale Moon is a derivative of Firefox. And there are some people that feel that Pale Moon is faster than Firefox since it does away with features that some people consider porky, um, such as parental controls or or uh, a few other little features here and there. However, it can still use all of the Firefox add-ons, and it's supposedly more than 20% faster in terms of uh, its uh, daily usage uh, than Firefox itself. Mm, I guess it's going to depend on which websites you go to. <laughs> so here, let's take a look. If I went here to the Software Manager, of course I'm challenged for my administrative credentials, since I am uh, performing an administrative function looking at installing software and I typed in pale moon of course Zippo it's not one of the uh, packages that we find with our software manager however we can still get it even though it's not listed there and the easy way to do that is simply to open up the console and go directly to it and pull it down from its location at SourceForge now, so that you don't have to type all of this out manually, and more importantly, so that I don't have to type it out manually, we'll just go ahead and copy and paste this, and I have the commands available for you in the description of this video. So, the one that we want to start off with is, uh, first we want to get our file from SourceForge. Now, I'm pulling down the 64-bit edition, that's why you'll see it says uh, x86 underscore 64. There's also the 32-bit version, so it just depends on which version of Linux you're running um, that you'd want to go ahead and pull down, and I will list them both in the description. So in my case, I'm, I'm using 64-bit, since all of my computers, oh, I've been over the 4-gig uh, 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 limit uh, for quite a while. It's been years since I've had a machine that had any, uh, uh, well, usually I, I have them at 8 gigs and above. And it just uh, works out better that way for me. Mm, I, I usually have a, a lot of things open at the same time. Um, and as a result, uh, the computer performs really well with all the extra memory. Okay, let's see. Our little buddy is almost here. Now what's going to show up is a tar ball. So now we have our uh, tar here. And so we have to unpack it. Again, this uh, command will be there for you. And as you can see, it, it unpacks everything and creates our little directory structure. So now we want to go ahead and move it and uh, put it where it's going to end up going. Whoops. Oh. Uh, paste. And it's going to ask me my password since this is a sudo. And then the last little function here paste again and we're all done now it's just a matter of typing pale moon and ta-da here we are uh, no let's not make it the default just yet so that's the installation of the pale moon browser um, you can click around on it and have fun and try it out and if you don't like it you can always ditch it um, although I'm <sighs> Firefox does seem to have been getting slow at least for me for all the things that I do, and so I plan to be giving Pale Moon a, a good workout over the next few months myself. Enjoy. 